I got one guy that came to me. This is probably the most uh, miraculous case I've ever had, but he came to me early 2020. Okay. Stage four pancreatic cancer, which pancreatic cancer is not a pancreatic is not, not a good I one. mean, most, you know, the old saying, which is kind of a terrible saying, but the, the saying is, you know, if you uh, if you don't do any treatment with pancreatic, stage four pancreatic cancer, you'll live six months. If you do do treatment, you'll be dead in half a year. So oh, it's like there, it's really bad statistics. Yeah. Less than one percent five year survival. Wow. Okay? So we're talking about a very very deadly aggressive disease. Comes to me stage four. He had already done a year of chemo. He had already done both of the standard approved lines of chemotherapy. They did not work. Okay. It had spread to his spine and. On top of that, he had developed a MRSA infection in his spine that left him paralyzed below the waist. Oh, my God. So he literally comes to me. His wife wheels him in in a wheelchair. And I don't know. I mean, I just, I, I looked at him and I was trying to be compassionate and, and hopeful. But at the end of the day, I just kind of thought, I said, you know, I don't know if I can help you. He'd been sent on hospice. Actually. Yeah. To me, every by every stretch of my imagination, he looked like someone that his days were numbered. Yeah. But his wife... Um, as usually is is the case, the wife usually she would not take no for an answer. So we understand. We're you know thank you for being honest with us, but what can we do? What can we do? We'll be here every day. Tell us what to do. We want to try. Okay, let's try. So we just did it one day at a time. But they were they were in my clinic literally three four days a week, and luckily they had the means to do this because again one thing we haven't discussed here, but a lot of this is out of pocket. Yeah, it's very yeah. expensive, especially if you're doing these IV therapies three four days a week. He had the means to do it. Three four five six months go by. He's still coming in. I don't know if we're really making any headway. No markers were really improving. He wasn't, you know, he still had no feeling below his waist. Uh, he was still in a lot of back And you're pain. doing kind of all the things we just- We're doing everything. Okay. We're doing everything. I mean, this was one of the few cases where I was like, screw it. We're throwing the kids in. Yeah, yeah. Out. Okay. Because um, again, he had the means to do it too. Yeah. But about the seven, eight month mark, he starts getting a little- a Feeling little movement that? In his toes. Oh. A little movement in his toes. So I'm like, okay, that's that's a good sign. Hadn't done any scans or anything. You know, we were just like, okay, we're just going to take this one yeah. at a time. If you feel good, we'll keep doing it. Um, we were watching blood blood markers and stuff. But and he had left the on college. Like they, 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 they can do, do. do. Goodbye. Exactly. And even that, I mean, they had given him that stamp. They were, yeah. You've got two weeks to live. They, they love to like give you that. You know, oh, like kind of I'm going to predict the day that you're going to die. Yeah. I hate that. But yeah. This ego on these doctors. It okay. gets better because there's <laughs> okay. there's a full circle moment with okay. the doctor. But um, so after about a year, he was starting to get his legs were moving. He was able to stand up, kind of hobble a little bit. Wow, this is crazy. Um, and we were actually doing ozone injections, the gas directly into his spine where the MRSA infection was. Because again, like I mentioned, ozone is really good at clearing infection. Yeah. Um, so we saw some some you know momentum there. And then it was probably about the year and a half mark. He was, he, he came in one day and I'm just like looking around and I'm like, where's your wheelchair? And he's like, I don't need that damn thing anymore. <laughs> Completely walking on his own. He was doing some physical therapy and stuff too, which was helping him build his muscles back up. But his MRSA infection had cleared. He went back to the infectious disease doctor. They said like, how is this possible? I mean, they basically, they had no answer. I mean, they were just jaws on the floor. Like, we don't know what you did, but yeah, your MRSA infection is cleared. Crazy. Crazy. Still hadn't gone back to the oncologist at this point, but um, we were measuring his tumor markers in his blood. There's a CA199 marker that's very um, reflective of pancreatic cancer. So when it's going up, we know that the cancer's growing okay. going down. So his 199, it had kind of been plateaued for the first six months, eight months. Eventually, that's that after a year mark, it started coming down. He started losing weight, but like good weight. He had weight to lose, but he started losing weight. We were still doing treatments day in and day out. But finally, at that like two-year mark, we got a scan. And I'll tell you, Morgan, like I've never had like this type of a chill feeling. But, yeah, like, I have goosebumps. It was completely clear. Stop it. Cancer free, no evidence of disease. I mean, this guy, this was a, a miracle. You know, That's crazy. A, mir a complete miracle. And the, be the best news is he eventually did go back to the oncologist. The oncologist said, um, basically, uh, you shouldn't be here. I don't know what you did, but I don't think I can treat you. I don't, th I don't think I have anything for you. Keep doing what you're doing crazy i mean they were just basically were they like what have you been doing did you no, tell they, them they, they, they didn't even ask. they didn't even really want to know oh my which is which is kind of yeah come sketchy. on yeah but, um wow but yeah that was four years ago and i've i mean i talked to him maybe a month ago yeah doing great so he still comes in like once a year half every six months and gets some blood work done and still crazy. cancer free 